rebirth. Such a man is psychiatrist Dr. Asagioli, the father of the concept and practice of psychosynthesis. Now in his 80s, he still pursues actively his interest in bringing back the all-important study of the human soul into the fields of psychology and psychiatry. Would you tell us, doctor, your reason for develop, developing the techniques of psychosynthesis? Surely. The reason is the need of the patient. I have studied the theoretical techniques and then applied them and see if they fit. In each case, in each existential situation of the patient, I had to, in order to help, to use techniques and used many of those existing and others I invented myself or that I combined. It all starts from the living reality, from the situation, the immediate situation. So no theory, no preference for one technique or another. In a sense, I say, all depends on who applies it, chiefly the theory, to whom he applies it, how he applies it, and at what moment at which he applies it. So each technique can be helpful or harmful according to these four elements. See what I mean? So that gives a great freedom and pliability. But of course that requires intuition and great practice. But it's easy. I think it's a good policy that it corresponds to inclusiveness of psychosynthesis. I try to get the core and the vital part of any teaching, verbal or written. In a sense, our chief teachers have been the patients. This is exactly the same thing. A Zen Buddhist monk said to me, it's my patients that are my yes. teachers, yes. So, meaning? Meaning putting together simply a synthesis that is combining into a harmonious whole of disparate elements. But it is organic unity. That is not uniformity, not fitting into a system. It is an organic unity in which each element keeps its own individuality and function. I think that the healthy human body or animal body is a perfect example of biosynthesis. Each cell and each organ, each apparatus concur to the preservation and development of life. In a unanimity for that, but the heart cell remains the heart cell, and the liver cell remains the liver cell. They don't mix. Would you tell me, Doctor, the your definition of psychosynthesis? Psychosynthesis is essentially an attitude, the attitude of the teacher or the healer or therapist to life in general a rapport or an interplay with patient or pupil. And it is, as in a general sense, the attitude that is a bringing together in an organic whole, diverse, and sometimes conflicting elements, but in an organic whole in which each element preserves its own individuality and function in operation with all the others. And the faithful human body is a perfect example of biosynthesis that is, each cell, each organ, each apparatus concurs to the general health. 
the vitality of the whole organism. But each completes its own function more or less independently up to a certain point independently but in unison by that I mean organic unity.